Hello, welcome to Math City with Miss G. We are going to be talking about solving radical equations. How do we solve radical equations? First, we are going to get rid of the radicals. Okay, so um, what are radicals? It is the radical symbol, which is this um, symbol right here that I am highlighting. So we call that radical. So we wanna get rid of this, and how do we do that? we are going to raise both sides of the equation by two. And so raising each equation by two um, makes or cancels out the radical and the exponent, and that will leave us with whatever is inside the radical um, uh, symbol. So we will have negative two minus k equals negative five minus two k. Our goal is to isolate the k by itself. So I want to place my k on the left side of the equation. So I'm going to add 2k on both sides. So this will leave me with negative 2 plus k equals negative 5. And adding 2 on both sides. So that would leave me with k equals negative 3. So the solution for this equation is negative 3. Let's try another example. Okay. So we again, we want to get rid of the radical symbol first. And to do that, we are going to raise both sides of the equation by 2 in order to eliminate the radical symbol. On the left side, we are left with six squared, and that is equal to 36, which means six times six, equals four minus four x. Isolating x by itself, I need to subtract four on both sides. So 36 minus four, that is equal to 32 equals negative 4x, do not forget that negative sign goes with the 4x. Divide both sides by negative 4 to isolate x. So x is equal to negative 8. So our solution for this problem is negative 8. Let's try number 3. Okay, so we want to we want to get rid of um, an extra number. And what do I mean by extra number? I'm talking about these plus 4 on the right-hand side before we are going to get rid of the radical. So since that is a positive 4, I will take the inverse so I can make it go away. So I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. And that is making the 4 gone, which is equal to 0. So 5 minus 4 is 1 equals, drop down the given x over 8. We did nothing to that. And now we are going to get rid of the radical by squaring both sides. And so we will have 1 equals x over 8. So isolating the x by itself, I want to make the left-hand side a fraction to um, complete the proportion. Cross multiply or multiply both sides by 8, doesn't matter. I just want to get the x by itself. So if I do cross multiply, that will give me x equals 1 times 8 is 8. So solution for this problem, solution is 8. Okay, so let's try another one. If we see something like this, again, similar to the, what we did earlier, we want to get rid of if there are extra numbers aside from the radical symbol. So I'm looking at this, I see a plus sign. Okay, so if there is an operation that you see, a plus or a minus, meaning you're going to do inverse of that. So positive 4, inverse of positive 4 is negative 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. So this will leave me with square root of n minus 3 equals 10. And then I'm going to now get rid of the radical symbol by squaring both sides. 
So as I do that, that eliminates this square, square root symbol. So I'm left with n minus 3 equals 100. I'm going to add 3 on both sides to isolate n, which will leave me with 103. So the solution for this problem, so solution... is 103. All right, let's try this number right here. So if you take a look at the problem, I don't, you do not see a plus or a minus in between 2 and this radical symbol. So that would mean a multiplication. So inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by that specific number. And what is that number? I'm talking about the 2. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 to eliminate 2. So we'll have, we're left with 8 equals square root of 8 minus 7v. We want to get rid of the radical, so square both sides to eliminate the radical. The left-hand side will be 64. 8 minus 7v, isolating v by itself, we're going to subtract 8, 64 minus 8 is 56, equals negative 7v, divide both sides by negative 7, so v is equal to negative 8. So our solution for this problem is negative 8. Let us try one more problem, and that is this problem right here. Okay, so again, we can't um, extract, the, I mean, uh, get the radical symbol by itself at this time because there is an extra number, and I am talking about the minus 7. Inverse of minus 7 is positive 7, or add, um, adding 7 on both sides to eliminate that negative 7. So the left side will be 5 equals square root of 11 minus 2x. Now we can raise both sides by 2 to eliminate the radical symbol. And so we are left with 25 equals 11 minus 2x. Isolating x, I need to subtract 11 on both sides which will give me with 14 equals negative 2x. Dividing both sides by negative 2, x is going to be equal to negative 7. So solution, solution for this um, problem is equal to negative 7. Thank you for watching this video. If you find value, please hit subscribe and share. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.